Hello everyone, and welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas, and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment, and if you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to create the drop down mega menu on Shopify store. And whatever if you are using Dom Team or any team, the trick that I will show you in this video works on all of them. And actually, four types of mega menu i mean the drop down ones and you can add categories and subcategories under each category as well as products under each subcategory and yes you can do that actually without using any apps or anything like that however if you want a little bit customizable and you can show pictures of products and so on just from the drop down menu you will need to use an app and i will recommend you an app that's really good and completely free to do so as well as examples i will show you right now of how the drop menu will actually look like as you can see this is the shopify store this is actually just a testing shopify store uh, where i do all my videos to show tricks and tutorials and so on and by the way if you are interested in how to add the banner video like this uh, with the button and so on without using any apps with your own standalone code so it will make the website or the shopify store load much much faster make sure to check out my channel as well as the variants with the pictures on them as you can see i did show that on my channel as well but for this video this is actually about drop down mega menu for the shopify store and by the way as well as the order tracking page for, for example if your customers want to track the orders i did show how to create a page again without using any apps or anything like that so your customers can actually track the products the shipment of products just from the shopify store i mean your shopify store make sure to check out my channel if you are interested in how to do that but for this video as i said this is for the drop down mega menu so this is the first type of the mega menu that i will show you right now and if we click on categories it will show me three categories uh, jewelry beauty and footwear and if i click on jewelry it will show me watches as you can see which is a subcategory and under that subcategory there is a bracelet and yeah bracelet is not a watch however I, I couldn't find a watch from my channel so quickly i did add a bracelet and i did show it here just for demonstration and as i said this is just the first type of the drop down mega menu that you can create the second type is this is the second type right here so if i click on the categories right here it will show me a drop down that's taking full screen as you can see uh, not like the first one the first one is just uh, a bar with the categories on it however in here it will show me a full screen drop menu with categories just like the first one jewelry beauty and footwear and below the jewelry there is a subcategory called watches so if the beauty category has a subcategories for it it will show right here below it and the third design of the drop down mega menu is right here which is a completely hidden menu you can click on the three lines right here below behind sorry the logo or the name for your shopify store and it will show you the menu right here if you click on categories it will take you to whole menu and again jewelry you will find watches and below it the bracelet which is just a demonstration it should be here a watch anyway so this is designs that i will show you in this video without using apps however if you want to use apps and using the app i'm going to recommend you in this video you will end up having a category or mega menu with the drop down future just like this as you can see you can have a lot of categories in here and subcategories as well and you can showcase products in the drop menu how cool is that four columns for the categories and below it you can showcase product and you can customize this however you want you can showcase the product on the right or on the left right here so it's really customizable and yes this menu was created by that particular app that i'm going to show you in this video and without any more talking let's just get to it so let's just access shopify dashboard so as i said i will show you how to do that by using just the regular uh, drop down mega menu from shopify and the second trick in this video i will show you how to use the app so you can make the drop menu just like this with product showcasing and so on so the first thing we're going to do is obviously add the categories because this is just a saved demonstration if i did access uh, online store here and after that navigation and it will show me either the full menu or the main menu if i click on the main menu uh, the categories is empty right now let's just get back so i can show you what i'm talking about so if i reload the page as you can see the categories is empty 
So we need to add the categories in here and that's the demonstration I'm going to show you first then how to customize it then how to use the app. So let's just click on add menu right here menu item and after that let's just name it uh, the category I mean one of the categories I have so let's just name it the first one which is footwear. I think I do have a product for the footwears which is a shoe I think anyway so for the link you should create a collection page just for the footwear in main case however i do not have that so just for demonstration i'm going to link it to the home page and after that let's just click on add let's just add another one again which is jewelry again and again let's just uh, just link it for the home page the third one which is beauty again home page again so i did create menus right here and they are not a drop menu yet for example if i click on save menu and get back to the shopify store reload the page and they will not show up as you can see we need to add them below the categories in here so in order to do that just click on the lines right here uh, before the name for the category and drag it up below the categories and drag to the right just like this and let go right now it's a subcategory under categories let's just do the same for the others which is jewelry and again beauty so we have three categories under the menu for categories so let's just click on save right now if we did get back and reload the page as you can see there is an arrow right here if I click on it it will show me the categories right now let's just get back and add subcategories to each one of these and to do that do not click on add menu item from here click on the one that's below the subcategories right here so simply click on it and let's just name the first one which is the beauty let's just uh, name face massager or something like that because I think I have a, a product like this and in here when I click on search I'm not going to link it to the home page I'm going to pick products so let's just click on products and from here I'm going to click the product for beauty which is right here as I said face massager so I'm going to select that product then I'm going to click on add and right now the face massager right here we need to click on the lines before the name for it and Make sure it's under the right category which is or the subcategory sorry which is a beauty and let's just drag it to the right again and let it go right now it's a subcategory below beauty and let's just do the same for jewelry again on footwear and show you how it looks like so add menu item and let's just name it uh, shoes and by the way this is just for demonstration in your case make sure to name this as the name for the product if you have other subcategories do the same for it however i'm going to link it directly to the product so in my case i'm, I'm not really going to bother with the name for the product i'm going to keep it just shoes and click on search and click on products and let me search for the shoe in here or sandal around i don't remember which is this one this one right here so let's just click on it and click on add and let's drag it up and below footwear and drag to the right again and let's just click on save menu right now let's just get back to the shopify store and reload the page and let's just click on categories again and here we go as you can see it's a drop menu below footwear which is a subcategory called shoes if i click on it it's going to redirect me to the product page as you can see and in my case as i said i just name it shoes in your case you should name it properly with the product name and yes this product costs 400 and 42 dollars and this is just a joke this is just for demonstration i don't remember how i did put this i don't remember anyway uh, let's just get back now to shopify dashboard and show you how you can customize this so you can either show it like this as i showed you before or like this which is a completely separated menu from the page so let's just get back to the shopify dashboard after that click on teams right here and click on customize right here in my case this is the team i'm working on which is just a copy so i'm going to click on customize here and after that click on header right here at the top of the options for the customizer and after that it will show you the header options in here and as you can see it says desktop menu type and you can click on it and select if you want a mega menu or just a drop down if you did select just a drop down it will be just like this just a drop down not a mega menu if i click on mega menu and it will look a mega menu which is taking the full screen in here and as i told you each category will have the product below which is shoes below footwear and face massager below the beauty device and the next option which is the drawer the drawer is completely separated from the header you need to click on the three lines right here then it will show you the categories each one with the products in it and right now let's just get to how to use the app so you can make the mega menu just like this one right here 
with the uh, four columns for each list of categories and a showcase for a products below it and as I said you can customize this however you want and to do this get back to the Shopify dashboard let's just get back to the Shopify dashboard leave page and after that click on apps right here option and click on recommended apps and Shopify store app right here or app store sorry and after that click on the search bar right here and type in global mega menu and actually I will put this in the description box I will put the link for the app in the description box which is this one right here you don't have to search for it just scroll down the description box and click on the link and it will take you to this page and click on add app right here and after that give it a couple of seconds it will redirect you to the Shopify dashboard and click on install app and you should be ready to go right now it will redirect you directly to the settings page when you can customize all the menus on your Shopify store and there is a free plan and professional plan and you can use the free plan it's really enough for you and let's just click on free what is free yeah free let's just select free and here we go so in here you can customize the menu as you can see uh, it's already giving you uh, an example in here for example if I click on menu right here and the first tab right here as you can see this show some categories in here as well as showcase of products and there is a plus button if I click on it it will give me the option to select some layouts or some designs for menus so this one called a group of items and there is menus in here and showcasing products on the left and the other ones there is a plenty of designs here you make sure to select which one that suited your Shopify store and this is just for the multi block right here if I click on tab it will show me other designs for tabs right here as you can see and link list as well it will show me for example the headings just the heading and sample and the menu for the categories with icons on it and with uh, pictures and so on and as well as products which is a menu it will be showcasing just products as you can see either the best selling or you can customize it pick your own product that you want as well as the collection if you have collection page and in here blocks uh, I didn't see this before if you have blocks on your Shopify store as well so let's just get back to multi block and let's just select one of these let's just go with this one right here two images and two link lists and here we go as you can see it does add it below the first one right here and you can click on the menu right here for example the menu item first and click on the green button right here and you can customize it name it however you want as well as the icon for it you can select the icon for the menu and as well as the link if you have a, a category page and by the way if you are interested in how to create categories with products on them make sure to check out my channel I did make that video as well and if you have directly a product to the menu click on products in here it will show you all the products and select a product from the list and if you don't want to use the icons from here you can upload your own picture select your own picture from the Shopify files uh, to set it as the icon for the menu there is a lot of things to go over in here and that will make the video like an hour long however if you do not understand how to use this properly just drop me a comment because this is really simple I didn't think that would take a lot of time in order to show people how to make it so it's really simple they make it really simple in order to customize the mega menu however you want after you did customize all the things you need in here including the pictures and so on just click on publish menu and it will be published on your Shopify store with pictures and everything that you did select in here and as I said in the beginning of the video I'm working for you so if you have any issues with this or you want a separated video on how to use this properly just drop me a comment below that would be happy to make a video for you but for now that's how you create a drop down mega menu for Shopify store and if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop me a comment below or check out my Instagram right here below me Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.